Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Saturday morning in a scene that we have not seen in a long, long time. Look at this. Two full rows of in-stock, mostly available, brand new Chevrolet vehicles. We just got in this beautiful white Malibu RS. We have three Equinoxes here, one more over here, and we even got a premier model Equinox in stock and available. You want a Trailblazer? I got them. I got one here, I got one here, I think this one is sold. I got two more right here, and one over here. You ready for this? Traverse, Traverse, Traverse. Oh, that's sold. Traverse, Traverse, and... Traverse. You probably remember that we have two ZR2s. These have been here for a little bit. A couple of HD Silverados, and we still have a bunch of Silverado uh, refreshed models as well. Some of the vehicles that people are really looking for, two Tahos, three more Tahos, and the one Tahoe that I really wanted to show you. Now, a lot of the, we have, so basically some of the stuff is sold, some's not. Not everybody puts sold signs in their car, so it's a little hard to tell. Uh, like this one here, this is a Tahoe Premier. I ordered this back in, I think, March. Finally showed up. It is currently on stop sale. I have a sold sign in it because this one is sold. I want to show it to you because it's the, uh, the blue exterior, but it has the maple sugar interior. Looks phenomenal. But anyway, of these vehicles that are new, we do have, I don't know how many are actually here on the lot, but we have 35 available new vehicles in stock, which is great. That's probably the most we've had, I would say since this time last year. You know, this time last year, actually maybe even like June or July of last year is when we had this many vehicles on the lot available at one given time. Now that may seem like, okay, cool, things are changing. We're still hard up for vehicles. We still have a stack of like 125 orders, you know, that we're waiting for. Um, these are sort of vehicles, like a lot of the Tahoes that we do have are because they don't have certain option packages that people look for, like a luxury package or a sunroof. Things that were on constraint at certain times where we couldn't fill an actual customer order, we just had to order something for stock. So although we do have some vehicles in stock, 35 available it is nowhere near where we used to be back in the old days when we would have 250 to 300 available but maybe this is a sign of uh maybe this is a sign of things getting a little bit better this tahoe is currently on stop sale for the bolts something about the bolts that hold the seat belts in in the third row uh there currently is no fix uh that is available so this car is currently on stop sale the customer that ordered it knows it's here uh they didn't come down and look at it yet it just got here yesterday however they cannot take delivery we can't test drive it we can't do anything with it until that that stop sale issue is fixed and unfortunately we don't have an eta as of yet again the reason i wanted to point out this specific tahoe is because it has the jet black maple brown sugar interior which looks awesome uh you know this customer ordered with a bench seat as you can see the bench seat is all the maple sugar portion however your headliner your pillars even your carpets and part of your dashboard are still black so it's really a nice two-tone finish i think it looks fantastic it really goes with any color it does look really good with the dark blue um it would look good with black obviously it would look good with white um it would look good with pretty much pretty much any of the colors out there maybe not silver maybe you know stay away from silver in this color i would go full black interior on that one but i really like the way it looks i don't know if you can tell in video but it's a little dusty in here now this vehicle has been sitting because it was first what we call mp status waiting for chips or something there was something with the hood liner did this have the hood liner let's take a quick look yes it does so for a little while, and I think this vehicle was one of them, uh, they didn't have these hood shields. So they had to wait until they got that to put it on. This one does have it. So obviously if it was a problem, uh, it's not a problem anymore. Now we're just waiting for uh, whatever the fix will be for the seat belt uh, bolts, again, for the third row. I'm gonna bring this over to detail, have them just do the interior of the truck. I'm not really worried about the exterior now because I don't know when we'll be able to actually deliver it, but I do want to get the interior cleaned up because it is a little, uh, it's a little dusty in here from sitting in whatever parking lot it was sitting in. Somebody here picking up their brand new Suburban. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my bolt plugged into the charger and just top off for the day. As you can see, our used car lot is also pretty light. It has been this way for literally the last you know year. 
uh, we've been running a little lean and I think that's uh, that's sort of been an advantage for us. We've been kind of picky and choosy with the cars we take in uh, as far as used vehicles. And I'm seeing now that, you know, auction values are coming down on vehicles. And there's a lot of talk that dealerships are getting stuck with all these vehicles that they bought three, four, five months ago, whatever it may be, at much higher prices because the auctions were very high. You know, we didn't do that. So we don't have that kind of a problem here. If you own a new Chevrolet Bolt, listen up, check this out. You go to settings, then you're gonna to go to, let's see where it is, sounds under system. Then you're gonna see startup shutdown sounds. You wanna make sure it's toggled on. And then, whoops, wrong button, uh, audio volume. Startup shutdown audio volume. You can raise or lower the sound that you just heard. So when you get in and that makes that boom and the Chevy symbol comes up, you can adjust how loud you want that. I dialed mine up a little bit because I want that sound to be heard. Actually, it's funny when I got the car ceramic coated uh, last week, the, the kids that were working there said they thought that was one of the coolest features. Like they had a good time checking the car out and stuff like that. And they got a kick out of that sound. So far, so good with the Chevrolet Bolt EUV. I'm loving it. I don't really miss any of the options that I had in the other car. I'm gonna make a future video kind of comparing the 2019 to this one and my first impressions. And actually in this car right now, over the first 794 miles, you'll notice that I'm averaging 4.3 miles per kilowatt hour, which is actually 0.1 miles uh, better than the last one. What are you working on, bud? I can't. <laughs> Caught you off guard. It's been a little bit of a slow day, but uh, one thing we're doing is a lot of business over the phone and email. So I wrote two Bolt deals over yesterday and today, both factory orders. We did everything through phone and email. So they were never physically here in the dealership. I just had a customer pull in, uh, in the lot. They basically came down to look at an EUV, talk about it and talk about ordering one. So it's nice, I have one so I can show mine. I also have uh, my old 2019. I also have my old 2019 that people can drive, which is nice because people want to drive the car, but everyone we have that comes in is sold. So it's not like you have something here for stock that someone can test drive. So having the 2019 used one here is a perfect uh, vehicle for people to drive experience the powertrain because the powertrain is the same in the new one. It's just the look of the exterior and interior and all that that's different. So they're out there driving it now. Hopefully they have a good experience and they like it. When they come back in, we'll explain the order process and uh, see if they want to move forward and, and build a car to their specs. I'm actually gonna pull my car uh, just across the lot here so when they come back, they can check it out. It'll be a little easier than being underneath these trees and all that sort of stuff. And then I'll plug it in later. Ah, there's that noise again. All right, ladies and gents, we, that's right, you and I, we got a car deal. Another Chevrolet Bolt EUV factory order. We've been doing a lot of Bolt factory orders, and I suggest that if you are a Chevy dealership or a Chevy salesperson, embrace the electric cars. The number one thing we hear, and these folks told me the same thing, they were in forums online, they were looking for information online, they were talking to people online, and they were trying to find out what dealers knew about the Chevrolet Bolt. Then they made some phone calls. Let me tell you something, if you're a salesperson for Chevrolet and you tell the customer that the Bolt comes in all-wheel drive, which it doesn't, which is what one of the salespeople told my client, you're never gonna sell that car. You're not gonna earn their business. The reason it came down to our store was because in the forums and online, it showed that we have a bit of a Bolt reputation that we know what we're talking about. So if you're in New Jersey and you want a Chevrolet Bolt EUV, come here, Schumacher Chevrolet of Livingston. Come see me, come see the other Dave, come see Crazy Eddie, we got Jackie, we got Drew, we got Harold. We're all very well versed in the electric cars and we're here to help you out.